Hey everybody, I'm Josh. This is my channel, New East Per Second. Today I'm making pyramid rockets. So I wanted to kind of do a disclosure in the beginning of this because I filmed the video making a new design of a pyramid rocket to better the old design I had. I wanted something a little more streamlined and that rocket was way unstable. <laughs> it kind of just I don't know what it did. I mean, it went up and did cartwheels. I'll show it in the video. And then I flew my original design, which was way, you know, was stable. I was looking to have it fly, the, the new design fly, a little more, like, streamlined design, get a little more height. I'll show the flights first, see the difference in design, and then I will show the build process. It's a simple design using the foam board, hot glue, uh, probably once you got all your supplies together, you can make this thing within a half an hour with minimal materials. You don't need to go and buy anything like from a rock, you know, besides the rocket motors. Um, supplies could be, you know, getting the foam board, the motor tube, you don't have one to fit the, uh, the SDs, A, B, or C motor. Uh, you can just use, I, I just use the paper towel roll, cut it, roll it around. You know, that's all in the video. How to do all that stuff so yeah I'll show you the flights and then we'll get into the build. The build was the same for both pyramid rockets so even though I'm building a new design the way it's put together I, the way I put both of them together is the same thing so here we go. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Right, five, four, three, two, one. And today we're going to be making some pyramid rockets. This is what I've already made and it's flown quite a few times, but it's a little real wide for a pyramid, so I can make a new design. So this is a pretty easy build. We're just going to be using this foam board. It costs like a dollar. The motor tube, if you don't have one, we're just going to make it out of a paper towel roll. And our launch lugs, we're just going to use the straw. Actually, we're using the old straw. I'm just going to cut this apart to get my pattern. So the dimensions on this rocket, 14 inches, pretty much at the base. So 14, and six and a half. I'd like to say that how I put this rocket together is the same method I put this one together. So, it's identical. Alright, so now I'm going to map out the sides and the bottom piece. And to make this build real easy, we're just using hot glue gun. I got this plug in, it's warming up. Alright, so now we'll start mapping out our, our pieces.
Again, this is just a paper towel roll. Just cut it down the middle.
one, one of these I got to make a cutout for the launch mark. Something else about the design of the pyramids I do that I forgot to uh, say is I, I make these so they, um, the injection goes right through the top. That way too you could also have a parachute packed in there. But these are pretty safe, they're pretty light when they come down, they just kind of glide down. Safe tumble recovery. Alright, so I guess in time, these are all, all these joints are cooled off, they feel pretty good. I just want to double check my fit. So this seems pretty good. Alright. So I am going to get some glue in here. Friction fitted with tape and using tape as like a thrust frame. So let's look through the rocket, through the top. Let's see what it does. All right, not what I expected. So the new design, as you can see, did not fly very well at all. I went up, what, like eight, 10 feet and then started just flying all over the place, unstable. Here's the original design I have. You can definitely see how much wider this is compared to the new design we just, that I just built. What I was shooting for was something a little more kind of like streamlined and get some more altitude out of it. So this is an unstable design. So I'm going to go right over the top here so you can kind of see the angle. Now look at this one. So more surface here that the air can ride on, making this a stable rocket. So not what I expected. I, I really thought that this was gonna go probably a little higher, try a little faster. So there's so much drag on this rocket that on a B motor, you're lucky if it gets to the height of a tree, you know, maybe 30 feet. <laughs> it's, that's it. This was the original design I had years ago, this is an old one, that I thought I would just go and do a new like, 
like a new high performance design. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I learned something new out of this. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys got something out of it. All right, thanks again. See you guys next video.